नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ अ कैरियर फीमेल फॉर कलर ब्लाइंडनेस रिमेंबर कलर ब्लाइंडनेस इज अ ट्रेट विच इज एक्स लिंक्ड इनहेरिटेंस बिकॉज ऑफ अ रिसेसिव जीन इट अकर्स वील सी इट इन अ शॉर्ट वाइल नो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन इफ अ कैरियर फीमेल फॉर कलर ब्लाइंडनेस मैर इज अ मेल विद नॉर्मल विजन देन which sons will be color blind and which are the daughters which will be carriers for the disease what kind of percentage we are asking in here now for the solution let's see the cross in here first we are talking about carrier female that means the genotype is going to be x capital c and x small c now this small c is the disease gene which is the recessive gene on the x chromosome now here normal male means xy chromosome x has got capital c that means it's a normal male no diseased gene is in here now when we cross these two what are the kind of gametes they will be forming carrier female will form two types of gamete now these are the two types x capital c and x small c with the disease gene and normal male will have x capital c and the y1 now crossing these let's have the first combination here this will give us a genotype x capital c x capital c that means normal female now next combination will give us the genotype x small c and y now here you see there is a disease gene and there's no dominant capital c which is there to mask the characteristic of this small gene that means the male is going to be diseased or suffering or a color blind male now here another combination let's see students in this combination we will have x capital c and x small c although in this female the gene is there for the disease but this female has another x chromosome which has got the dominant gene and which is going to mask the disease gene that means this female is carrier but she will not be the disease or she will not be color blind she will just be called as the carrier female another combination students the last one is in here where the genotype is x capital c and y male and normal male there is no disease gene present in here so we see in here normal females out of these four how many 25% carrier females 25% then the normal males here then are 25% and the diseased males are 25% so when we are asking about how many sons will be color blind and how many daughters will be carriers we say half and half next question is aqueduct of sylvius also called as iter is a part of which of these parts now let's see in here students there are four ventricles of the brain as you can see here first and second ventricle present in cerebrum third ventricle is present in the diencephalon that means fore brain fourth ventricle students is present in the hind brain which extends from pons to medulla now first second ventricle which are also called as lateral ventricles are connected to third ventricle by foramen of monro and aperture which is known as foramen of monro third ventricle you can see there and fourth ventricle they have a long distance in between they are connected by a canal and that canal is known as aqueduct of sylvius or simply called as iter now we are talking about aqueduct of sylvius is a part of it passes through midbrain because diencephalon is the forebrain pons and medulla are the hindbrain in between we have midbrain so aqueduct of sylvius is passing through the midbrain so the answer would be midbrain in here the kidneys are said to be retroperitoneal now what exactly is this important term retroperitoneal let's have a look students this picture i'm showing you is the ts or the transverse section of a human body in here passing through the abdominal area this is a membrane which we call as peritoneum a very important serous membrane in here now observe the cavity which is surrounding this membrane students this cavity inside the peritoneum is called as 
सी लोम ऑब्जर्व किडनीज ना वट विल यू से आर द किडनीज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द सी लोम और आर दे प्रेजेंट आउटसाइड द सी लोम नेचुरली यू नो किडनीज हियर एज यू कैन सी आर आउटसाइड द सी लोम वी गिव इट अ टर्म एक्स्ट्रा सी लोम एक दैट मीन्स आउटसाइड द सी लोम also observe in here students kidneys are towards the posterior side that means towards the back or the posterior side so we say kidneys are behind the peritoneum behind the peritoneum kidneys present that's why this one word retro peritoneal behind the peritoneum that means kidneys only anterior side is having peritoneum posteriorly there is no peritoneum there is only the body wall there so covered only anteriorly or ventrally by the peritoneum so the kidneys are said to be retro peritoneal when do we say that because they are covered only on one surface by the peritoneal membrane and which is that surface anterior or the ventral surface 